This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. Today, I will be speaking with the company Imperva. I'm sitting down right now with Alfred Geyer, who is going to show us DDoS mitigation in action. Take it yeah. away. Yeah, sorry, I don't have my black hoodie on. <laughs> I know. It's, it has to do. Um, so <laughs> when we previously talked, I mentioned attackers are getting sneakier than trying to do things to understand there's a mitigation service behind this. Right. So I wanted to show you an example. Um, this is a great example. So you see this is a real attack and a real customer. This is not cherry pick. This is not unique. Uh, we see this every day. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the right side, you can see uh, the dashboard that we provide our customers with. Uh, what you can see here is the top uh, portion is the bandwidth, so uh, bits per second, and mm -hmm. the bottom portion is packets per second. And on the course of uh, 22 minutes, the attacker changes about seven different attack vectors and wow. switching between them. Now, he doesn't use a whole lot of volume because he doesn't need to. Right. The target has less than one gigabit uh, of bandwidth. Okay. Okay, so he doesn't need 10 gigabits to drown it out. He just needs you know, enough. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with packet per second capacity. Packet per, se per second capacity is super important because when I'm mitigating DDoS, I'm not dropping bits, I'm dropping packets. Okay. okay I need to process each packet. Uh, so it's really, really important. And attackers understand this. So you can see here, each caller here is a different attack vector. So you mm -hmm. can see the attacker, what he did, he started off with um, high packets per second, mm -hmm. uh, low volume attacks like um, you, you can see here, there's, it started with little NTP, then large, what we call large SYN packets. Um, and he started off, then he, he moved to UDP. He switched from UDP to SYN floods mm -hmm. to SSDP, UDP, ICMP. So he's trying to find that one thing that passes through, and he's trying to be quicker mm -hmm. than the mitigator. A lot of mitigation solutions, they have someone sitting in a sock or a knock trying to apply signatures in real time. Uh -huh. The person is, is not consistent and it can be pretty slow sometimes. Right, keep um, But we're, this is fully automatic, so we're faster than that. It usually happens in, in, in microseconds. Nice. Uh, so this is all blocked. Um, so this is a classic example of a multi-vector attack. 22 minutes um, and he's gone. Okay. Uh, this is another attacker. What he did was he, he, he went all out with his entire arsenal. And he started off with um, high uh, uh, bits per second, so mm -hmm. high bandwidth. So he started off uh, over almost uh, hitting 200 gigabits per second, which is a lot of bandwidth. Um, so you see that in that kind of Azure uh, tone. Um, didn't work. Mm -hmm. Immediately switched to high packets per second. Same, same army different uh, method. So now he's not using large SYN, he's using regular SYN flood. <clears throat> now okay. you see he's, he's generating instead of, um, let's say, instead of uh, uh, 30, uh, 20 uh, million packets per second, now he's generating 200, almost 250 million wow. packets per second. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of processing yep. needed. Um, it's usually more effective. Again, it doesn't work, and finally tries to mix them both to see if, if we huh. can if we can work that this way. It doesn't work for us, but it's very very effective against uh, software targets. Okay. Um, so this is again an, a tactic uh, that attackers use. So let's, let's see how the mitigation actually works in real time. Um, let's start with what we call layer seven attack, so mm -hmm. an attack on a website. Mm. Um, this is a, a a nice demo to show what's going on. So I'm 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 running. Uh, a simple script here with Python, just bombarding uh, a simple website okay. with requests. So I'm not generating a lot of bandwidth, not generating necessarily a lot of packets. Mm -hmm. I'm generating what we call a lot of HTTP requests. So a lot of visits, a lot of requests to a website. And you see I'm only generating 600 requests per second. Yep. But that's usually more than enough to take down a lot of the targets. Mm -hmm. But you can see our mitigation immediately kicks in. Yeah. Uh, the yellow color here are bots, and the red uh, line is what we blocked, and bluish color is humans. We don't have humans. This is a demo site right now, mm -hmm. uh, but you'll see it immediately kicks in, 
and everything is blocked wow. so you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, in real time, you can see what's going on with your um, server. I uh, see how many humans you have and how many visitors you have um, and what's going on with your origin server as well, what your visitors are. So you have all that information nice. and it's real time. You can see that mitigation kicks in immediately. Very cool. Uh, and my second example will be what we call layer three, four uh, DDoS, what most people think about when, when they think about DDoS. Mm -hmm. And I like to show this example because it really shows um, mitigation that kicks in uh, really quickly. Um, and not only for a very large attack, but sometimes you can have very small attacks on a very soft target that's very effective. Okay. So this is a 10 megabit attack. It's very, very small, but a lot of targets can't process more than that a month. Right. Maybe it's 1,500 packets per second of a certain protocol that can be very sensitive. But again, mitigation immediately kicks in, um, and you can see that in real time progressing. You can see the exact attack vector. Yeah, you get a full um, overview. Okay. Yeah, you can see exactly what's going on, uh, how many uh, how many packets and how many bits you get from each protocol. You can see that in real time. Wow. And you can see what's getting blocked, what's getting passed, and on who. So we have the full visibility that's up to the second and updates every second. And even if attacker changes attack vectors, you can see that changing. So once I switch to another attack vector here, you can see, again, another spike, and it, it mitigation kicks in immediately, which is very, very interesting. So you can see that happening Instant. on your dashboard. Wow. You don't need to, get to call us. You don't need to do anything. This is fully automatic. Nice. Nobody, nobody cares. Nobody knows about it. Your, mm -hmm. your, your networking guys, your application guys, they don't need to scramble around. Yep. They don't need like all hands on deck. Um, no, they don't need to do anything. See, it, it, attack comes in, takes a second. Oh, this is actually not good. Same packets, boom, mitigated. Wow. This That's is incredible. true for any customer mm -hmm. on any size of attack, on any attack vector at any time. So this is how we keep our customers happy and consistent with a service. This is why we are backing it with technology. Wow, very cool, okay. Wonderful, well thank you so much for uh, showing me this. I yeah. really appreciate it, this yeah. is great. Yeah, so stay protected. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it, that's the motto. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And that's all the time that we have for today, so be sure to tune in next time for another episode of Access Points. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.